Hello everyone, this is Kelly D. Kamalam Ward. I know I haven't put out a video recently, so I decided to go ahead and do a What's Sold in October video. This is What's Sold on eBay in October. I also sell on other sites, but I'm going to mostly focus on eBay for this video. So we're going to start off with the beginning of the month with our first sale of the month was the Super Mario and Friends Multipack. I paid $5 for this at the GameStop clearance they had a couple of months ago. I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping for this. Uh, someone asked me please to uh, please take the offer if she was buying this for their son and I accepted the offer and shipped it out. Prior to me I had to build a smaller box for this, cut down a box and send it out for dimensional purposes and got positive feedback and she was happy and I was happy to make the sale and then the next one sorry my computer runs slow when you're trying to record all this stuff on your computers the next one is this Downton Abbey coffee mug I saw that they are making a Downton Abbey movie so uh, I was looking for Downton Abbey items I saw this coffee mug I maybe paid a dollar for it at the Goodwill it sold for $8.99 plus $8 shipping um, I use what I do is I put the mugs in a 6x4x4 by four by four box the eBay box and then put it in a padded flat rate after I you know wrap the mug with bubble wrap I have a whole video on how I do bugs here on my channel so you can take a look and see how I do that and it shipped out pad flat rate and I've never had a mug break that way yet so knock on wood next uh, item is this Joker's Wild Converse shoes I paid $12 for them at the Goodwill have a pricier item for me I don't usually find items that are that high that are worth much on eBay I saw these Converse I cleaned them up and put them up they've been on there for a while I've had some low ballers put some offers in but they finally sold full price $39.99 plus shipping and I haven't heard anything bad so I'm gonna say they like them the next item here coming up are these Alabama Crimson Tide flip-flops I bought these as a RA um, at a local dollar store they had them for they sell stuff for a dollar thirty nine everything in the store is a dollar thirty nine even though this is a dollar store but I bought a bunch of different sizes of these flip-flops these were the last ones I had and they sold I think I bought these back in August so within a couple months they've sold these are all they're all brand new with tags I sold them I took a best offer of 950 plus shipping and got good feedback this next item pop up sorry my computer wants to run slow slow okay this is a milk glass mug I love selling milk glass um, most of the time they're vintage this one was footed it looks you know with a little you know footing on there uh, it has the Pirates house in Savannah Georgia never been there never heard of it but I know that people like these older advertising on the milk glass mugs I sold it for full price $12.99 plus shipping I put it in the I put in bubble wrap the six by four by four box into the uh, padded flat rake and it shipped out fine right the next one item is going to be a lovey uh, if you haven't heard loveys are awesome to sell you just kind of have to look for them sometimes they're with the baby stuff sometimes they're with the stuffed animals this was at the stuffed animals in my local nine uh, my local goodwill it 
was a little elephant on this little blanket. It was in very good condition. I just kind of wiped it down with a, um, use a baby wipe sometimes if there's like any marks on it. And it sold for $18.99 free shipping. And it wasn't up, you know, but a couple of weeks before it sold. They sell quickly. So those that's a thing to look out for when you're, when you're uh, out at the store, at the thrift stores. Next item. All right, this is, I like to go to the baby area and look for onesies that are different. Not the little, you know, mommy's little devil or whatever. You know, this is a kiss band one I found. It was most likely clearance. I always look for the clearance tags or the um, color of the week tag at the thrift stores. I paid 50 cents to a dollar. Well, let me take off. Move that up. 50 cents to a dollar for it. I took a best offer of 650 plus shipping. I like this is just one of the things I like to look for and grab. You can't say onesie on eBay or you get Vero'd. So you have to say bodysuit or creeper, romper, one piece top just to, you know, protect yourself because you can't say onesie or you'll get a, a Vera warning and you don't want those. This next item is a Houston Astro shirt. I know it's coming up. It's just slow. There we go. It's a Houston Astro shirt. I took a best offer of six fifty on this plus shipping. It was right when the Astros were in the playoffs. I believe it was right before the ALCS when they were playing the Yankees. I'm in the Houston area. Go Strohs. Um, but I always look for sports-themed items, you know, stuff with teams on it. And I wait for them to hopefully be on the color of the week tag so I can get them at a low price. Because everyone wants to buy their sports team stuff, but they don't want to pay the $40 or the $50 in store. Are online to buy that stuff so this was a majestic is a one of the brands that's really good on sportswear you get Nike and Adidas but so this one sold and shipped shipped out no problem I just you know put it in the in one of the, the poly bags into a poly mailer and ship it out next item sorry my computer just does not like to be running too many things at once okay this was the ra item i was just trying it out i paid two bucks for it at a local dollar store it's all for full price 8.99 plus shipping um but it sat for a long time i had it in my store for over a year so bye bye I'm not going to buy another one. I was just trying different things. I like to try different things to, um, to, uh, on my store just to see how they go. So then let's go with the next item. This is going to be a George Foreman um, drip tray. These are, uh, I sell these a lot. They sell quickly. Usually I can pick them up for 50 cents or less or 75 cents at um, the thrift stores. If you get them at the bins, they're probably even cheaper. We don't really have, the closest bins is over an hour away and I don't like to travel that far. But I sold these, this for $14.99 plus free shipping. It's easy what I do I wrap them with bubble wrap and then I have like some that that cardboard that's really it's not real stiff kind of bendable just wrap it around with that and put it in a, a poly mailer and ship them out and they ship fine that way the cardboard kind of protects it and they're really light they only weigh like four ounces to ship out so that's what three four dollars to ship out 
and only 75 cent cost so you make you can make pretty good you know the different smaller ones sell for smaller and this is one of the larger ones and you just kind of have to look and play around see what size it is so you can find out what the the model number it is so you can sell it at the comparable prices to what other model numbers are selling next item sorry my computer doesn't want to help all right this is a hot wheels volkswagen bus and it was kind of these are a little bit larger than the regular hot wheels um but I paid a dollar fifty for it, and I kind of asked uh, Mr. NASCAR man Derek about it when I got them, but I sold it for a best offer of ten dollars plus shipping, and I just put it in an eight by four by six box and shipped it out. No problem, just wrapped it with a little bubble wrap. It's, you know, once you figure out how to do shipping, you know pretty much how to ship stuff out quickly all right next item coming up this um, this is the Halloween crash is a I find these at the dollar store every Halloween I've had this listing up for at least three hollow three or four Halloweens selling them and I just buy a couple, put them up, and I sold three, I sell three or four a year. I mean, I sell them for five, you know, five bucks plus shipping, and I get them at the dollar store. Sometimes you can catch them after Halloween and get them on clearance price and sell them. But people buy them. I have no problem just putting them in a bin and putting them up at Halloween or. You know, in, in August, September is when you start putting your Halloween stuff up. Just kind of follow the what you see the um, stores doing. So I have a couple left from last for next year. Let's see this next item. This a book I I could not sell this on Amazon for some reason. Some books are gated on Amazon. The publisher or the author doesn't want people to resell used books. I don't know, so I just put this up on um, eBay, and it's been there for a while. And it finally sold um, the full price, seven ninety nine. I put it in a uh, bubble bubble mailer and sent it out uh, media mail since it's a book next item we have coming up this is a little webkins turkey plush um, I made a huge webkins buy a couple years ago and these are the I have some leftovers that are finally sell, selling because I waited a long time to put the list them because I was going through every all the other ones the other I spot there was like a store that had probably got rid of all their webkins inventory and there was all the goodwill and I filled my cart up with all these webkins so and I was paying a dollar or two dollars, three dollars for the webkins, depending on their size. And so I've sold and made my money back a long time ago. So I'm just getting the last little ones out of the house. This one I took a best offer of ten dollars free shipping. So they make much, but like I said, I've already made my money back three, four times. On what I paid for that big lot of webkins um, so I was glad to let the little turkey go he had been up listed in my store for a while 
and he's at someone else's house right now, making them happy for Thanksgiving. He's kind of cute, kind of sad he didn't sell last year, but he's gone. Next item. All right, come on. These etc. designer pants. I mean, I bought these. I bought them because of the design. When I first bought them, I didn't never heard of etc. It's some kind of really high designer. I mean, these pants are usually like what I saw was like about two hundred dollars um, on their website. I had them listed higher, and I kept on lowering the price. Finally, I got a best offer of $30 free shipping. I took it because these pants have been in my store for a long time. I paid originally. This was when the Goodwill in my area was having a certain color tag of clothes be a dollar. So I was buying a ton of clothes at that time. And this was one of the items I bought. So it's been in my store for a while. At least, I'd say, two years. So I'm glad... They're gone, and I got a good, you know, pretty good return on my investment there. It's just they took a long time to sell. Next item coming up, we have coming up. Sorry, I don't remember. I had to wait for it to pop up. Oh, this is a CD, a new sealed CD. I, you know, look at CDs and I'd never heard of Singer before. I'm not really into country music, even though I live down in the South. Not my thing. But it sold for full price, $27.99, free shipping. I just wrapped it with some bubble wrap and put it in a bubble mailer and shipped it out. I can't remember if I did media mail or first class. I might have just first class since I got a good amount on it. I probably paid a dollar for it, 50 cents for it at the thrift store. It wasn't a very big investment. So I just kind of scan um, when I'm at the CDs areas. I look for, I don't look for the normal bands. I look for the ones I've never heard of that way and scan those because your normal Bands, ACDC, or I don't know. I don't. I, I don't listen to normal me. Normal, what people call normal music. I tend to listen to only Christian music. So, um, I just look for bands I don't know and and kids song, kids bands, kids CDs. Those tend to do better than your normal Guns and Roses and. ACDC and that kind of stuff. Next video, next item. Sorry, here we go. This um, is a True Air Air Cleaner Odor Eliminator, new in box. It was three bucks at the uh, thrift store, and it sold within a month. Um, it was, I think, it was a drop shipper who bought it from me, but I took a best offer of fifteen dollars plus shipping, and I sent it out with their, they, you know, no eBay tape, la la la, but whatever. I got my money; they got their money. Sent it out. No problem. Next item coming up. This is Dr. Seuss Scrub Top. Um, I probably paid $2.50 for this at a local thrift store. It's probably been up a couple months, not too long, because I listed it after we moved into our new place. And I took a best offer of $7 plus shipping. 
just put it in a poly bag and a poly mailer and ship out. Clothes aren't very difficult to ship out. All right, next item. <coughs> Let's see, we got this Hugo Boss men's golf polo shirt. I just was trying. I heard Hugo Boss can do good. Um, yeah, but that shirt's been in my store for a while. So someone offered me $10. I countered offered with 12. That's what I do a lot of times. If I get a low ball offer, I will counter offer with what the lowest I will take. And they took my counter offer 12. And so it was $12 plus shipping. And I shipped it out. And glad it had been in my store for a while. So I'm glad that it got sold and out of the, out of the house. My next item coming up. This is the Peanuts uh, Classic Holiday Collection. It's like three DVDs with their Halloween, you know, the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, the, How the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and Charlie Brown Christmas. I paid $2 for the set at a local thrift store and listed it. And I had a lot of low ball offers on this. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but someone find that a lot of people wanted to get it, you know, eight dollars free shipping. I'm like, yeah, no. Um, finally, someone offered to pay nine dollars plus shipping. I went ahead, took that offer, and shipped it out. It was not up long. I mean, maybe two weeks, if that. It sold pretty quickly. So I like to look for the little holiday movies. Everyone likes those for their kids and you know you want to see them every year but you can't always be home when they're on tv i guess you could dvr it but everyone likes to have the the movie brings back a lot of memories of growing up watching those movies everyone likes the nostalgia about the those items so one more two more items for October. This is a Nike men's dry fit long sleeve top. I paid maybe two dollars for this at a local thrift store. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies. Um, they paid. It sold for full price of thirteen ninety nine plus shipping. Um, just so it was like a maroonish red shirt with the Nike logo on it, nothing fancy, but Nike sells, so I bought it, and listed it, and it's all quickly, I say I had it up for maybe a month and a half before it sold, the last item, this is the Ages of Empires computer game from 2006 for the Mac, this sold within an hour, I listed it, and then I went to go somewhere, and when I got to the where I was going, it's it had sold. And so I just what I did, um, I wrapped it with a little bubble wrap. I put that flimsy, the like the, the flimsier cardboard around it, and put it in a pattern flat rate and shipped it out that way. That way it got protected, but it had the game. It had the the game disc, it had the manual and everything. I just made sure I showed that down there in the uh, in the pictures. I didn't even want to do the white background. I just cleaned off my couch and <laughs> took a picture that way. Sometimes I get a little lazy with my picture taken. I can't get. I have a nice picture taken area, but my inventory is taking overtaking it right now. So. That's what I sold in October. Hopefully, I'll be better at putting out more videos, and I hope you enjoyed this. And it, you know, shows a little wide variety of what I sell on eBay. I also sell on Etsy. Um, hopefully, I'll 
I'll be showing that next month. I have had a lot of Etsy sales this month in November so far. A lot of vintage Christmas stuff is selling. So if you're look, trying to think of what to list right now, I would list your vent, uh, Christmas stuff. People are starting to buy Christmas stuff now. I know Christmas is, you know, what two a month and a half away. So people are decorating for Christmas. Get your Christmas stuff listed. All right, and this is Kelly Ward, the Ecom Mom. I'm glad you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you all later.